Example number three, a blimp flying at an altitude of 500 feet flies directly over a line from Soldier Field to the Adler Planetarium on Lake Michigan. So, see figure. So, this is the Adler Planetarium and Soldier Field. So, the blimp or the airship is flying over the line between the two. That is 500 feet. So, if the angle of depression from the beam to the stadium is 32, so this is the stadium and this is your beam. So, therefore, the angle of depression is this one. And from the beam to the planetarium is 23. So this is your angle of depression for the planetarium, 23 degrees. Find the distance between Soldier Field and the Adler Planetarium. So, the answer here is 1978.09 feet. Again, we can draw a triangle which represents the given situation. So, this is your 500 feet, the altitude of the beam. This is your soldier field location and then your planetarium. Okay, so, the unknown here is the distance between these two. So, let us denote that as X. Now, the given angle, if you take a look at here, we have 23 and we write 23 here. Okay. So, the concept we applied here is the uh, concept we discussed last time. We have parallel lines and a transversal. So, these angles are equal. So, this is 23. So, therefore, this is 23 also. Similarly, if this is your 32 degrees, so therefore, this is also 32. Okay, so, again, the unknown here is x. Now, we can solve x by simply adding this distance. Let us denote that as a and this uh, distance. So, let us denote that as b. So, the unknown here, which is x, is simply equal to a plus b. Since we don't have formula, which can solve directly the unknown, which is x, we can solve first for a and b then add both you can solve the unknown which is x so here we are going to solve for a so now if you are going to solve a that is again the adjacent and the opposite of your angle 32 degrees okay, so we can use again tangent so tangent 32 is equals to 500 over a okay. So, solving A here, we have 500 over tangent of 32 or that is simply 800.17 feet. Then, for B, again, similar lang dito. So, use tangent. So, tangent 23. Opposite, that is 500 over B. So, your B here is simply 500 over tangent of 23. So, we have... B as 1,177.926 feet. So adding these two, we have X, which is equal to 1,978.09 feet. Next example, number 4. To measure the height of Lincoln's caricature on Mount Rushmore, two sightings 800 feet from the base of the mountain are taken. So, if this is your mountain, and this is your point of observation. This is 800 feet. If the angle of elevation to the bottom, the Lincoln space is 32 degrees. Again, the angle of elevation at the bottom. So if this is your bottom and this is your point of observation, so therefore, the angle of elevation with that point is simply 32 degrees. So this is your 32 degrees. And the angle of elevation to the top is 35. So, if this is the top, this is your point of observation. So, therefore, this is the angle 35 degrees. What is the height of the Lincoln space? So, the add-on here is this height. Height of the Lincoln space denoted by H. Let us now solve H. Now, if you will observe the given figure, so we form a right triangle with base 800 feet 
with height of y and x. Okay? So the unknown here is h. So therefore, we can only solve h by simply subtracting y and x. So the unknown here is h. We can solve that by using these equations. So again, solving for x and y. So this is for y. So you can solve for y by referring to the bigger triangle with height of y the base of 80 with an angle of 35 degrees so that is again since uh, the given is adjacent of the angle and the side we want to solve is the opposite side so therefore we can use tangent again so tangent 35 equals to y over 800 or that is simply your y equals to 800 multiplied by 35 then for x this is your 4x so tangent 30 equals to 800 or simply yung x is 800 multiplied by tangent 32 so here we can solve now h so just substitute this y and x to this equation or you can simply solve x here or y then your x here then just subtract the 2 so we can get 60.27 feet that is the height of the uh, Lincoln space. 